What is going on, everybody, and welcome to another Beta Memoirs. And today, like any day in the market, especially as of late, uh, things have uh, been interesting. <laughs> we are getting earnings. It's supposed to be the biggest uh, week in tech. Big tech has been reporting this week. Uh, this morning, we got some shop. Last night, we got um, a Google. And we had Apple last night. So being said, a lot of these companies are absolutely uh, demolishing earnings. Even today after hours, we, we had Facebook uh, demolished earnings. Uh, but the biggest problem is, is forward guidance. There's a lot of unknowns, uh, especially being with big tech as being the chip shortage. Uh, even though you have things like Lamb Research, who also crushed it as well, uh, forward guidance has been really bad uh, because of the pandemic, because of what's going on. There's a supply shortage. And so it's really going to limit a lot of different things, uh, causing more uncertainty in a lot of the different, uh, different arenas in big tech, uh, your EVs. Uh, Apple, obviously, and Facebook. Uh, a lot of uncertainty as far as what is going to happen. Uh, I know Apple doesn't even do any kind of uh, guidance, especially since the beginning of the pandemic. And so people don't really like that. Then again, anytime the word shortage or chip shortage is being brought up, uh, it is definitely a big red flag. And right now, it's really hard to tell. Everything is diving, even though everything is crushing earnings. Again, the last time I saw this was in March. Uh, we had the same issue. Um, a lot of the forward guidance and stuff, a lot of people thought there was gonna be things falling off. Uh, again, they just said that before. And again, they crushed earnings again. Uh, it really depends on how uh, things will go moving forward. I know Facebook was even talking about uh, a lot of uh, ad revenue being uh, essentially taken away. That's essentially, or their cash cow and the iOS device is regulating a lot of that stuff. So a lot of the ad revenue will be gone uh, or potentially can be. So that's a little concerning for Facebook and why it took a hit today. Um, again, there's still some other ad plays, uh, revenue plays, your TTDs. Uh, you also got Roku and stuff that uh, report next week. Uh, but being said, it's really trying to, uh, see what the market does overnight because we did have powell as well today and powell uh kept reiterating what he was going to say he did say we are making progress but we're still a long ways essentially from uh, where we need to be uh, so he doesn't see a rate raise he says uh, almost giving the, the implication that there could be an earlier rate raise perhaps um, late uh, 2020 uh, he has not changed that. He said there is still a lot of uncertainty, and there still is. We got different variants out there. We got um, other different other uh, countries we're dealing with. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, things going into play. Again, we haven't seen any really dramatic selling because there is no real reason to dramatically sell aside from a chip shortage. And so the market is just kind of becoming stagnant, uh, which really isn't a good sign either. But ultimately, um, we have to see where we go from here. Uh, there's going to be uh, some other, we need, we're going to need some other catalyst essentially to get uh, big fangs to really move. E-commerce, um, like I said, shop did report today, did report this morning. Um, they crushed it, but again, forward guidance uh, essentially uh, crushed it down. And it kind of held flat. This is a lot of big tech was this way. Apple was this way today. Everything was just flat waiting on Powell. Uh, Powell gives a go ahead. Everything is still good. There's no inflation rate raise. Nothing has changed there. That's what was expected. Uh, but being said, uh, market digestion, uh, do they believe Powell or do they not? Uh, he said there may be a little bit more of inflation increase. But even being said, uh, it's still transitory. Uh, so being said, where do we go from here? Uh, SPY, SPY is flat. 
um, QQQs or flats. Everything is just flat. Uh, no one really knows where to go from here. There's no catalyst to move up. There's no catalyst to move down. Uh, aside from um, China possibly saying or doing something. Uh, but aside from that, there is uh, no real catalyst. I think we're kind of waiting for a catalyst to kind of sell off. I'm kind of waiting around this period for us to sell off. Now, we do have some core CPI data, inflation data that comes out on Friday. Maybe that will give us some guidance. Maybe that's what the next piece of the puddle, uh, piece of the puzzle is. I think ultimately right now, it really just depends on on where we go right with with that if that uh continues to spike are uh, we going to see emergency rate cuts uh yellen janet yellen has been coming out and uh kind of trying to throw her her voice out there and trying to get, take control and uh, cut rates and everything else uh the market wouldn't like that initially i think but ultimately i think it would start pushing back up at least get the market moving but even being said uh, there's still a lot of uncertainty, especially with the variants. A lot of news is coming out that uh, vaccines, I believe uh, the Pfizer vaccine, I don't know if it was the Pfizer vaccine or not. Uh, I want to say it was the fire, Pfizer vaccine that uh, said it wasn't as effective. I think they said it was 95 or somewhere in the 90, 90 percentile effective rate, and it's actually less than that. It's around the 85 so a lot of things are starting to come uh, to the surface that things aren't quite what they seem. CDC did give guidance yesterday about uh, wanting uh, kids to be able to go back to school full time in the fall, uh, but with masks. And if you are vaccinated uh, to be wearing masks still, I recommend masks for anybody indoors. Uh, but being said, tomorrow, what are we looking at tomorrow? Ultimately, we want to see market digestion. Uh, maybe overnight digestion will kind of give us a direction on which way we want to go. Maybe uh, the forward guidance and the chip shortage is going to drop us overnight. Uh, any kind of movement, I think volatility is still uh, not gone. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> this whiplash uh, won't last very long. Uh, core CPI data come out, I think might push us up a little bit. We'll, we'll definitely have to see how it goes. Uh, but as long as the forward guidance, we're going we're gonna to have to see how tomorrow plays out. If we can get something like Apple, which the forward guidance, again, chip shortage, no really gu guidance here. So the people just traded at flat, sold overnight, but the crushed earnings, where does it, where does Apple go, right? I've been talking about this for a while. Apple's being the lead indicator, right? If Apple starts tanking, uh, that's essentially where the market's going to go. Facebook starts uh, tanking. Uh, that will kind of show where the market's going. Uh, being said, um, it's not everything, right? Like I, th I still think from this point, uh, you do have Amazon on Thursday, but even though it did um, it traded flat, the premiums are really high. So trading contracts on this is, is pretty much not even worth it tomorrow. Uh, shop, again, digestion, crushed it, still... I think that again, the market's just looking for a reason to sell uh, and, and good reason, right? Chip shortage, blame it on chip shortage, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I think we will sell off from that point. So right now it's really hard to tell. Uh, Mealy uh, did have a nice day today, but uh, I think everything's just starting to pull back. Everything's starting to digest. Uh, Roblox is something I've still been watching, uh, trying to come out of here. Uh, snow, the cloud space is still doing well. Uh, to capture this move up today. Um, but ultimately, uh, I really don't have a watch list for tomorrow. I want to see what, um, what's going to happen with the digestion. Uh, PayPal uh, did have earnings as well. And so even there, I mean, they got... Uh, <laughs> We're seeing a lot of this, this sell-off, uh, forward guidance, and then uh, comes right back and then sells off again. Uh, maybe we can get a play on Square. Uh, but I know even a lot of that is dealing with Bitcoin, and Bitcoin's been fluctuating and a lot of volatility as well. Uh, chips, like I said, uh, chips crushing it, but the whole shortage issue, we really want to see what's going to happen with the chips. If we can understand where the money's going to go from that part. There's a lot of uncertainty. I completely understand that. Uh, nobody knows what's going to happen. So nobody's going to put their money until they know exactly what is going to happen. 
uh, especially uh, a lot of these uh, bigger whales because they can't uh, just jump in and out of the market. So they have to be certain over the next couple of years what is going to happen. So until they know that, uh, we're just going to kind of uh, sputter in, in one little spot until uh, that's figured out. Being said, um, I don't want to make this video too long. I know I've been just talking a lot about essentially the market sentiment right now. Uh, because nobody knows uh, it's ultimately what the market's going to take of, of powell today what uh, the infrastructure bill i believe is actually passed as well so we might be able to find something in energy or evs tomorrow start pushing again uh, but uh, again it all comes back down to chip shortage uh, we are trying to innovate we're trying to uh, become better but even being said um, again we still need chips so who's going to be the the company that comes out and supplies chips or supplies uh, the raw materials for the chips to allow us to do that. Uh, possibly even looking at uh, 3D printing again in that space. Uh, NNDM, uh, I believe, actually does some of that stuff as well. Look at their materials and see if they get a bump at all. So it's it's pretty much up in the air. I think tomorrow, again, will give us more um, understanding of what is exactly going on. Uh, but until that point, so I think uh, just be patient and wait for something to play out. And remember, manage risk because we are still very high. Uh, we have been running pretty solid for the past two months, uh, looking for a, a bit of a pullback. So if we can find any reason to sell, uh, maybe it's going to be chip shortage, then, we'll, then we sell. But nonetheless, um, remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later.